Hi everyone, this is Colossius. Today I'm going to show you um, some a common mistake that a lot of people do. Um, and they make the mistake because they see higher levels do it, but I don't think they really understand why. So, first off, a position like this, normally if you want a base or you want some ice shape, you play a move like this to make a base. A lot of beginners are starting to go here, and it's not very good. This is actually a mistake because, um, let's show you another example. You want it to touch a stone like this. And the reason is because that stone was there first. The very next move, it's, he's getting stronger because uh, when you touch a stone, you respawn. So when someone touches you, you just respawn and get stronger. So all white did was make black stronger, and now black has two stones to one. And he'll always be one move ahead because he was there first. So here, you're making a base, but you're also making black stronger. And the reason is, this is like a touching move. Because the very next move is going to be touching. So, when white plays a move like this, or when someone plays a move like this, it's just it just makes the opponent happy because every move gets this side stronger. And when these stones are stronger, that makes this weaker. If it's like this, and I do this, you can ignore. But when you do this, you need to respond because now you're one stone against two stones, and it's a lot worse than just this. Alright, so also it can lead to bad shape, like the Hane at the head of two. Hane at the head of two is a very, very powerful shape because you have this Desuji for the called the double Hane. And even if they cut you're not worried about it because they have cutting points and weaknesses also. You can try this or you can try this. Maybe you can jump first. Give white a useless weak group and then you can come in. Very bad shape for white. It's a cut there. But point being, white's worse off when, than black if white tries to cut. So the double honey is very powerful. You just look at the whole board and you see how these stones affect the rest of the board now. So letting someone have the double honey is helping them out a lot. So this a move like this, this touching move makes them stronger and it can also lead to a double honey or a honey on the head of two. Um, so, don't make bases by touching stones like this. You may think that black gets stronger, white gets stronger, but it's actually not as good as just one point jumping. A yeah, one point jump doesn't look like it's going as far, but it's a lot better shape. And go shape can lead to very, very good positions for you. Shape should not be underestimated, but also like anything, there's no rules and go. That's why in higher level games you might see a move like this. But I recommend trying not to copy it unless you have the exact same board situation. If it's one stone different, then it can le become a totally different situation. The reason higher level players might do something like this, um, an example would be say black has a stone like this, I would immediately go here. Because if black tries to play this move now, it would become an empty triangle. So when you can play this move and it puts black in bad shape or makes him over concentrated, or you don't care if he gets stronger in this area because it's already his area, then that would be a little bit different. But in a position like this, it's really open. You can still come in. But when you play a move like this, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and makes it harder to come in with every move. So, when making a base, try not to play a diagonal move, diagonal touch-ish kind of shape to make a base. Just, if you jump two points and you touch a stone, then you should be jumping one point instead. Um, Hope this helps. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. And also, I have a new website, clausius.webs.org.
or not, I'm sorry, clausius.webs.com. Um, please check it out and hope to see you there. Thanks.